Hey guys, Ashley here. Today we are talking pins. Pins that I love to use inside of my planner. Pins that I love to just well, write with, basically. Um, first, we're going to start with these ones. These are my top four favorite pins. I highly recommend these ones. I will link not only these, but all the other things that I show you down below in the description box if I can find the links to them. So we're going to start with these ones. This that I'm writing on is a block pad from the Happy Planner. And if I can find a link for it, I will link it down below as well. My number one favorite pen for my planner is the Muji pen. This is in 0 0.38. I literally only write with this pen inside of my planner. I mean, I use other pens in my planner, but I only use like when I write with this one, it's only in my planner. And the reason why is I've noticed that the ink goes by really fast. So the top one is the one that I've been using. The bottom one's a brand new one. And you can see I'm almost out of ink and I have not had these for very long. So that's why I only use it in my planner. I don't use it for anything else. Love this pen. It's really smooth writing. It's really, it's like a thin font, font. That's my, that's my writing. It's like a thin, it's thin. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know why I'm making that complicated. Um, it's really thin. I love this because you can write small with it and things are still clean and it doesn't smear together. Definitely, definitely recommend this pen for inside of your planner. The next one that I highly recommend for in your planner is the Uniball Signo. This is also in 0 0.38. I love this pen. I don't use, I mean, I use this on my planner, but I don't just use it in my planner. I also use this one for like when I'm taking notes or just writing random things down. And as you can see, those two are really comparable to each other as far as their size goes, which both of them are 0 0.38, but I really do like both of these pens. They both write really, really smoothly. And I like it too, because you can write small with them and everything's still like crisp and clean. Now, another pen that I really love is the Pilot G2. This is in 0 0.5. I use this a lot in nursing school. That one's a really good pen to have. This is great for note taking. I like it inside of my planner too. Um, I just, I've been using these two pens a lot, so this one's kind of gotten neglected, but um, I definitely love this pen and I recommend it, especially if you take a lot of notes. Now, another one that I really, really love, I actually use this one for my um, entire first year of nursing school. It is the Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel in 0 0.5. I love this pen so much. I use this all the time. And as you can see, it's a little bit bolder than the Pilot G2. And even though they're both in the 0 0.5, I really like this one for school. I mean, this can smear together because it is a gel pen, but um, I really love writing with this one. I honestly don't know why I've stopped. Probably because like I said, I've been using these two a lot in my planner, but I highly recommend that one. So those are my top four planner pens that I have is the the Muji, the Signo, the Pilot, and the Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel Pen. Definitely recommend those. And if I didn't say this already, I'll say it again. I will link everything down below in the description box if I can find a link for it. Now, another one that I love, um, it's the same pen here, the Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel Pen, but this is actually in 0 0.7. Now this one is a gel pen too, so it will smear a little bit. Um, I don't know if I'd recommend this for a left-handed person if you have trouble with things smearing because this will smear, but I really like this one for doing like titles or headers or anything like that. Like that's a really good bold pen to have. It's super cute. It writes so smoothly and that's why I love it. I use this one a lot in nursing school too. So there's those ones. Some colored pens I wanna show you guys are Again, the Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel. These are in 0 0.5. It comes in a bunch of different colors, which I love. I'm terrible at using color inside of my planner, but I love to have colored pens, right? Whoops. Whoop. 
Oops, if I could spell. And is in 0 0.5. So that's like a light blue. There's green. We have a darker blue. There's purple. This one is teal, which I really, really like that one. There's pink. You're a pink fan. And then there's also red. So I really love those ones. It's a great little color selection of them. They write really smooth. They are 0 0.5, so they're a little bit thinner, which I really like. I'm into thin pins. So there's those ones. Another one that I recommend is the Paper Mate Flare Pen. This is in medium. This is really good for titles too. I haven't used this one in a while either. So there's that one. Now the cool thing about Paper Mate, the flare pins, is they also come in a bunch of different colors. So there's done definitely color options. I'm not going to show you guys all these colors, but there's definitely different options with these ones, which I love. So you guys could do colored headers and titles and different things like that. These are really good too for faux calligraphy, which I'm really not that good at, but I'll show you something here. So you guys can make it look like you've done calligraphy. These are really, really good for that. Don't judge, I told you I'm not that good. I gave you a warning. <laughs> so, there you go. It, it looks a little bit like calligraphy or that of a toddler's handwriting. <laughs> um, but I do love those pens, they are um, great for titles, headers. Like I said, if you want to do faux calligraphy, you absolutely can. Another one that I really like that's colored are these. I don't know how to say that, but I do like these ones. These are fine point. They are fine liner pens. There's all the different colors that comes inside of it. So it comes in a pack of 18 and I'm just going to pull out the black one and show it to you guys. These are really, really tiny. I don't know if it gives an actual size on here. They just say fine point. So I'm not 100% for sure on that, but, oh, 0 0.38, there it is, 0 0.38. And, I mean, there's the tip on that thing, which it's probably not gonna focus, but, let's see, what is the name of these? <laughs> I gotta look at the name of them to write it down. Now those ones are cool too because it's 0 0.38, but it's bold. So if you look at it compared to like your Muji pen or the Signo Univall. So I really do like these ones. I need to use them more often if I'm being honest, especially all the colors. It's kind of it's kind of like, you know, like I said, you get stuck on your favorite pens and then you don't end up using anything else. But I do recommend these ones. These are very fun. I love all the colors that comes with it. And I got these ones on Amazon as well, and they'll be linked down below. So there's those ones. Now, another one that I want to talk about is the Micron pens. I have it in 0 0.5, 0 0.3, and 0 0.1. I do not like writing with these, but I do like creating my own spreads with these. I actually think these are kind of for like sketching and drawing. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what they're for. And let me show you how I use them. So when I create my own fitness spreads, the outline, like where I drew it, that's what I use those for. And I also use them to put the days of the week up there and the dates and that kind of thing. I don't I don't really like writing with these if I'm being honest, but if, I want to share them with you because if you like to create your own spreads, I recommend these for it. So, this is 0 0.1. To me, it's not really smooth writing. I think that's why I'm not a fan of it. I mean, that is a super duper tiny tip. 
There is the point three. And then the 0 0.5. And the 0 0.5 is usually the one that I use to outline whenever I am creating the spread. So it'll be like this part right through here. And then I usually use the 0 0.3 to do the days of the week, which I actually think I use the same, same one. And I think it might have been the 0 0.5 for all of this. But um, sometimes I like to change them up. So if you create your own spreads, if you like to draw, I recommend these. As far as to set and write a bunch of stuff with them, they're not my favorite, but I still wanted to show them because I do use them. And I use them, I mean, every week whenever I create my own spreads and stuff, if I'm drawing anything, these are great to have just for that. But um, as far as writing goes, I, I mean, I can't, I can't recommend them, but you may get them and absolutely love them and love writing with them. So that's the thing about pins is that, you know, it's kind of a unique experience to each one of us. Now, something else that I recommend to have inside of your arsenal is a Sharpie permanent marker in the ultra fine point, because when we are writing on the tabs of our planner, so for example, if I wanted to write on this tab, it's like that slick surface. So a regular pen is not going to stay on there, but that will, the Sharpie will, and it's super fine point as you can see but I like having these ones because these will stay on the tabs if you need to write on clear stickers um, anything like that these are fantastic for so I do recommend grabbing just one of them that's literally all I have I just got one of these ones and obviously these are sharpies so they come in a ton of different colors if you guys want to use them for um, if you guys want to get different colors but these are just nice to have if you want to write on something that's like clear or if it's a sticker or something like that and and you want it to write on there and it for it and you want it to stay slow down Ashley um, so those are my favorite pens. The ones that I highly recommended, like I said, are the first four that I wrote up here. It's the Muji pen, this one, the Signo Uniball, which is this one, the Pilot G2 0 0.5, which is this one, and the Papermate Ink Joy Gel in 0 0.5, which is this one. Those are my top favorite pens that I have. I do have a bunch of other pins, but if I'm being honest, I can't recommend them. That's why they're not in this video. So I'm not going to show you those. I just wanted to show you guys some of these ones that I use quite often. I love them. These are absolutely my favorite. If you guys have any questions about any of these pins, please don't hesitate to ask me. Let me know down in the comments section which pins you love. They can be from this collection. Or if you have another pin that you absolutely love and you want me to try, comment and let me know because, hello, I'm always up to trying out new pins. I think we all are, right? So make sure you let me know that down in the comments. If you haven't already, subscribe. Come hang out with me on Instagram and I'll see y'all in the next video.